Today's deck tech is on Alayla, Artful Provocateur. Alayla is a 2-3 flyer with Death Touch and Lifelink. Other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus zero. Whenever you cast an artifact or enchantment spell, create a 1-1 blue fairy creature token with flying. This isn't just an Alayla deck, no, this is a Bolas Citadel deck. And it's not just a Bolas Citadel deck, but this is an Aether Flux Reservoir deck. That's right. With these two cards, we're gonna cast a bunch of spells, gain a bunch of life, and blow people up with that bottom Aether Flux Reservoir ability. And let's not forget about Sensei's Divining Top, the all-star of this combo. With this card, we're gonna be able to keep putting it back on the top of our deck, upping our storm count, and drawing every card in our library. So that's our win condition, but how are we gonna get there? Ramp and card draw. The proper amount of ramp and card draw is essential if you want your deck to play consistently. For ramp, we have Talisman of Dominance, Talisman of Hierarchy, Talisman of Progress, Azoria Signet, Orzhov Signet, Demir Signet, Arcane Signet, Soul Ring, and of course, Mana Crypt, if you can afford it. What's great about this ramp is they are never dead cards. They're gonna give you fairies, they're gonna be cheap or free to play, and whenever you get your card draw, you're gonna be able to play the cards that you get. Speaking of card draw, Distant Melody is gonna net you a card for every fairy that you own. Skull Clamp's another all-star in this deck, because you get to equip those fairies, killing them, and you get to draw two more cards. Cards like Tome of Legends, Sunbeam Spellbomb, and Sensei's Divining Top will not only draw us cards, but they'll let us manipulate the top of our deck so that we can get rid of those pesky lands when we get to Bolas Citadel. That's right, everybody, our win con. Now let's talk about synergy. A big thing we wanna do is reduce the cost of all these artifacts we're playing. Ethereum Sculptor, Foundry Inspector, Jor's Familiar, and Starnheim Courser are gonna do just that. It's a lot easier to storm off if all your artifacts cost next to nothing or, in fact, nothing. Free is good. You know what's also good? Holebreaker Horror. How does it feel to cast an Arcane Signet and bounce back your Azoria Signet? Then you cast your Azoria Signet and bounce back your Arcane Signet. Infinite Storm Count and infinite mana. Man, I love this deck. Now to get to all these great cards, we need some tutors. Demonic Tutor, Enlightened Tutor, Mystical Tutor, Urza Saga, and my favorite, Oswald Fiddlebender. Now once you get the cards that you want, you're gonna wanna protect them. Always well protection. Well the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that your good cards hit the battlefield. So we're gonna need some counter spells. We're in blue. You have the pick of the litter. But let me show you some of my favorites. Stoke Rebutal has that nice artifact flavor. Dovin's Veto can't be countered. And Spell Stutter Sprite's gonna give you more value out of those fairy tokens. But if somehow these don't work and all your best cards get sent to your graveyard, we're gonna need some graveyard recursion. Emery, Lurker of the Lock. Buried Ruin. And of course, Sun Titan. All these cards are gonna come in clutch time and time again, I promise. You put all these cards together, you have yourself a fantastic Alayla deck with fun combos, tons of interaction, and it's gonna hang at just about any table. But don't take our word for it. There's a link down below to a deck list on Moxfield where you can try it out for yourself, then please come back and let us know what you think.